let me tell you a place, my son, that flows into the rise of sun or river. Did you lie to me? Hi, Mary Machine. We are on board a fine fishing vessel headed to uh, meet the Peacemaker out here in Mary Bay. Uh, beautiful afternoon. I'm here with Derek Birchall. Derek, you're the uh, the PR man for the Tall Ships Committee. Tell us all about uh, how you came upon the Peacemaker and how it, the process of getting here to Mary Machine. Well, thank you, Chopper, and uh, we really appreciate you fellows coming on board with us to uh, share this experience. Um, over the last uh, 15 years, really, uh, we worked very hard. Uh, with, you know, when we first started to try and get ships uh, to discover Miramichi, and now the word got out, and uh, they're calling us. So uh, actually, it couldn't have been simpler. They called me up about six weeks ago and uh, said uh, they wanted to come in. And uh, about two and a half weeks ago, we had our first committee meeting, and here we are. Well, I guess so you can kind of put things together in a hurry when you really have to, eh, Derek? Well, uh, it's a well-oiled committee, and they, everyone does their thing. And uh, when everybody does their thing. Thing, it's as simple as I'll get out, and I can't say enough about them. All right. Now, Doug, your job is uh, ship liaison. You yep. look after the uh, crew and make sure that their needs look after. Uh, what are some of the uh, um, stumbling blocks and maybe some, some of the history about the other tours that were here uh, in, in the past? Well, uh, I started with the tall ships back in probably 97, 98. It's hard to believe it's been, it's been that long since the first, the first ship came in, yeah. And uh, I actually called Derek up and volunteered. <laughs> Some days I wonder what I uh, got myself into. <laughs> but uh, basically when the ships come in, it just depends on the crew and the age yeah. and how how much they've been around because some crews come in and you really have to be with them all the time and right. other crews you just come in and point to yeah. the bank and the grocery store and the laundromat and away they more, go. more self-sufficient than others. Yeah, it just depends yeah. on the crew and where they've been. So tell us about this crew, what are their needs uh, uh, first off and uh, how's it been dealing with them so far? Well, uh, my job really starts from the time I step foot aboard so okay, yeah. um, up until this point I just basically kind of have, not, have no contact from here. I haven't had any contact. I do a little bit of research on the crew, and so this crew, you know, runs between 17 to 21 or so, and uh, you know, we'll see what their needs are when they get into into, into port. But uh, you know, they've been around a little bit, so I don't expect too many problems. So, Patty, you're here for 99 through the river. You're going to give us a play-by-play -play on the way up up the river. You're going to be on the radio, uh, giving everybody a, a, a good idea of uh, where we are and what time we're going to be arriving at Station Wharf in uh, Miramichi East. Yeah, that's correct. That's the plan. Derek and I sat down on the tail end of last week and did an interview for the folks listening in to uh, give a little bit of uh, information as to our whereabouts and all that. But anyways, fast forward, that's why we're here today and uh, hopefully folks are listening in. This is a thrill of a lifetime to be honest with you. This is awesome. Well, one of my dreams uh, growing up was to be on board a tall ship and I'm glad it's finally going to come true today. I want to thank the committee for, for making yeah, this happen. Absolutely. Uh, um, great to know people, eh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's great to be, 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 be part of a promo team that makes this, uh, you know, make, makes the public aware of uh, what's happening and what's going on in, in Miramichi. I'm very glad to see the tall ship come in. It's always a big boost for, for downtown merchants sure. and for all merchants of Miramichi. And uh, to, to the committee, thank you guys for making this happen and uh, let's hope for a great, uh, for, for a great uh, festival. So thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, I want to thank all the sponsors as well as uh, you and Patty for uh, uh, spreading the word because uh, if the word doesn't get out there, nothing happens. I just hope there's a couple of sandwiches on board, Patty. What do you think? Well, there better be. That's all <laughs> I got to say. <laughs> Hi, Mary Machi. I'm here with with uh, one of the captains of the Peacemaker here. We're trolling the Mary Machi Bay. Uh, Larry, welcome to Mary Machi, of course, and uh, welcome to Canada. You're for, uh, hailing from Georgia, I understand. Well, that's correct. Awesome. Yeah, I live in Savannah, Georgia now. Awesome. So tell us a bit about the, the history of, of the uh, Peacemaker and its journey in the last few number of years. Well, the, the Peacemaker started out as a private yacht for a family in Brazil. Okay. Uh, a man to, uh, owned a, a business uh, making offshore oil rigs and he said business was kind of slow so let's he, build a tall ship let's build a, a ship and uh, go around the world yeah so he and his family spent a couple years actually uh, designing gathering materials um, 
they uh, bought a substantial piece of Paraguay, the country, nice. and uh, <laughs> and loaded up logging equipment, uh, you know, trucks, loaders, a mill on barges, wow. and took them 1,500 miles up a river. And uh, they cut him a place for his helicopter to land. And he came in, he said he handpicked every tree that went into the ship. Really? And the uh, Ipe, which the entire hull is built out of, is uh, generically, they call it ironwood, is extremely dense and rot resistant. And yeah. I've, I've only known of uh, a couple other vessels that were built that were entirely Ipe. So, and, so yeah. materials very expensive and uh, very rare indeed. It is, yeah. Good. These trees were four to five hundred years old. Wow. And he didn't want any that had been hit by lightning, so uh, he checked out every one, and uh, that, that's a long time to stand without getting hit oh. when, when you're sticking up above all the other trees. Absolutely. So very selective cutting. Good, yeah. And he planted four more trees for every one he cut. Okay. You know, so in four or five hundred years, you can build four more of these. Absolutely. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah. We, we, we kind of follow those practices here in Mary <laughs> Sheet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah. so uh, your uh, group took took possession of the uh, ship to, to tell us about that transaction. Well, what happened was they um, they finished it to the point of motoring. Uh, it's got two big diesels in it, okay. and lots of lots of fuel tankage, and uh, they took it to South Africa and back from Brazil uh, up through the Caribbean to the States. They they ended up using it about a year and a half. Okay. Right on. And they brought it to the States with the intention of having all the masts and rigging installed. Okay. Um, they got sidetracked, put it on the back burner for a while, and uh, kept bringing it up and then putting it back, and ultimately it sat for eight years. Okay. And we just happened upon it. Uh, our group started uh, having the idea that it would be a, a really nice way to connect our communities together. Sure. Uh, and we, we were at one time only in northern Vermont, just one little town. Uh, we had the vision that if the life that we shared together uh, was what we thought it was, it was going to spread. We'd be in other continents and sure. a, a few of us, you know, that had had some sailing experience thought it would be a great way to connect our communities together, go new places, meet people. So we started back in the uh, early 80s. Yeah, uh, look, looking forward to someday having something large that we could go, you know, transcontinental with. Okay. Port to port, uh, and maybe visiting some tall ship festivals and and uh, taking part in in, in those. Yes, yeah. yes, we um, we've actually done uh, three tours with uh, tall ship festivals. Um, this time, you know, we ended up in Halifax with uh, quite a few other ships, and then they kind of broke down in smaller pieces for a couple of more Canadian ports. Yeah. Uh, we decided to go ahead and, and stay, you know, up here for the rest of the season. Yeah. And so we're working our way, ultimately we'll be in Montreal uh, the uh, 12th through 16th of September. Okay. And so we, we heard great things about Miramichi and uh, wanted to come in here. Well, we're uh, certainly glad you're here, and uh, good luck in your uh, four-day journey here in Miramichi, or five-day journey, whatever it ends up being. Uh, you're going to be swamped with people, and a lot of people <laughs> won't want to tour the boat and uh, talk to you guys, and yeah. and uh, maybe share in the experience of uh, being aboard a tall ship, and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really glad you're here, and thank you very much for coming. Well, thank you. Right. We're really glad that we were invited. Awesome. Great job. Started in New York and went, came all the way up, stopped in uh, New Bedford, and New Bedford, Mass., and uh, Newport, Rhode Island. And uh, then we went straight up to Halifax and Hawkesbury and Pugwash, Summerside, and now we're coming to Miramichi. Okay, awesome. Well, sounds good. Welcome to Miramichi, guys. Uh, Raphael, wh wh where are you from? Uh, originally from Boston, but right now I live in New Hampshire. So oh, yeah. I like it here in the Miramichi so far. It's nice, nice yeah. and warm. You guys just came from Halifax. How was Halifax? Uh, it was great. Yeah, it was really nice. Awesome. They did a good job on the seaport. Awesome. It was, yeah. Good. Well, uh, how long have you been aboard the Peacemaker? Uh, two weeks. Is that right? Yeah. So I you're know. kind of a newbie. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay, right on. Well, this is a it's a great ship. Great way to to uh, blossom from a young fella to a man. Get get, get some hard work behind you and uh, learn how to do things right. Yeah. Absolutely. What, were your, what was your name again? Natsar. How long have you been here in Natsar? Six weeks. I like it so far. Awesome. Yeah? It's a good experience and it's nice to work together. Yeah. Do you have long term plans here on the Peacemaker or just going here for a short visit? Another six weeks. Is that right? So where are you headed from here now, David? 
Uh, we're heading to, um, I believe, uh, uh, Gas Bay Peninsula? Yes. Okay, right on. <laughs> it's just popped in my head. I think I asked him this question already, but uh, you guys are going from Montreal from, to, to Montreal from there. Uh, we're going to Quebec City first. Quebec City, okay, right on. Okay. Well, guys, I uh, wish you good luck in your journey. Uh, try to stay on the uh, dry side of the dock here, and uh, you guys are going to be in Miramichi for three or four days. Uh, you're going to have lots of visitors, and uh, I'm sure you do your ship proud and, uh, and uh, answer lots of questions and meet lots of great people. What do you think? Hopefully, it'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty cool. You feel like you're king of the world, or what? Hi, Member Chief. Patty Quinn along with Chopper Robinson here. And folks, you wouldn't believe where we are right now. The bow spread net is the exact word. And actually, the, the, the bulk of the ship is behind us. And Chopper, tell me, this isn't the thrill of a lifetime. Patty, this is, uh, you know, like I say, a dream come true. This is unbelievable. Giving her on the river, right here on the Miramichi River, under full dress. And the SS Peacemaker from uh, Georgia. Going to spend four days with us here at the Tallest Ships Festival in Miramichi. Of course, uh, by the time anybody sees this, it would have been. Everybody would have boarded and, and talked to her and see her, but no one has experienced what we're experiencing right now. Here on the bow of the ship, right out on the spread net, and uh, I think I might go for a little nap. Well, look, at I might add, too, that the captain, or one of the three captains aboard this ship, uh, offered everyone the opportunity, and you and I are the only two that uh, cast your chips in, so I don't know what that says about everyone else, but uh, this is a thrill. Uh, unbelievable. Full sail out. Uh, Frank is there with the camera. Obviously, it's pointing at us right now, but we got full sails above, uh, Chopper and I, and... Uh, I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous? I'm a bit nervous at first, but now I'm, you know, I'm all right. I got a great bow shot, a nice high definition shot from the from the from the stern of the boat, from the bow of the boat here. Uh, you know. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm, just, I'm living a dream. It's unreal. The boys are making a joke that the back end of the boat's coming out of the water because you and I are up front, but uh, I don't think that's uh, correct, is it? We can let them joke all they want. We're the ones out here on the, yeah, that's right. on the bow. <laughs> They're the ones too scared to be on it sitting in the, in the boat. Don't worry about that. Hi, Mary Chi. We're here with Captain Lee Phillips on the uh, deck of the Peacemaker here in beautiful Mary Chi Bay. Uh, Lee, Larry kind of took us on a, on a brief uh, trip from uh, where this ship was first built to where you guys found it. Maybe take us about to how you guys found it, renovated it, it, it made it t to what it is today. Well, in the year 2000, when we got it, um, we were able to put the engines in it and get it where at least it could float. Mm -hmm. And we got it, we found a spot in Brunswick, Georgia, and then we, our communities from all over the world, committed some young men to the ship okay. to do the work. And while at the same time, seeing young men were working jobs um, and pulling the money, and that funded the ship. Wow. And so what we had to do was um, we had to rewire the whole ship. Wow. We had to replumb it, um, get the whole engine room going. And then in the year 2006, we all decided on a rig, the type of rig that we wanted. And we found a man who understood this type of th stuff. And he and his wife were sail makers. And they committed. And they came and lived with us for six months. Oh my and we gave them 10 young men. And in, the, in that six months time, we put the mast in, we put all the cables up, which is called standing rigging. Yes. We sewed the sails, and then we put all the ropes. It's about five miles of rope. Oh and we put all that in and went sailing. So we started, once they got here in September, we went sailing in April. Is that right, eh? Yeah, and so in 2008, we left on our first trip going up and down the East Coast. Yes. And we've been traveling ever since. Here, I tell you, it's a really, Unbelievable to, to to see something like this. All this, you know, sails and, and yeah, ropes and masses. It. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And uh, the, I, I've always wanted to be on board of a tall ship, you know, in in full sail heading down the Miramichi River. And uh, I tell you, it's uh, thanks for making the dream come true. Well, great. Yeah. Get a little more wind, and we'll put some more sail up. We're gonna throw Frank up in the crow's nest there and get him a good view of yeah, we just of dropped, Middle Island. We just dropped the topsail there. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Lee, thanks for ha having us aboard. Of course, it's been a pleasure. You fed us a nice little lunch and had some lovely iced tea and uh, really overwhelmed with, with all your hospitality. And we look forward to uh, you meeting the rest of Mary Machine. Fantastic. So are we. All Heard right. a lot of good things. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. All right. Hi, Mary Machine. I'm here with uh, Kilia of the uh, Peacemaker. You're, you're making some pottery here, Kilia. I am, yes. Awesome. <laughs> so, so how much pottery do you usually make, uh, you know, for, like to make bowls for the ship or to sell or w what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we sell what I make. It okay. helps, helps us helps us pay the bills and keeps us moving. <laughs> so what kind of pottery is it? Um, it's various decorative bowls and mugs, peacemaker mugs and whatever else I can have manage to make. 
So, so, so these like like uh, uh, kiln dried and then the glaze and that kind of yes, stuff. Yes, well? yeah. They we've got a kiln on board here, so yes. Oh, really? That's exciting. <laughs> Hi, Mayor Machine. Like all good things, Patty, uh, this, of course, must come to an end. Uh, we had a great day in the water. It was almost unbelievable. The whole way was surreal. I mean, the, the sails and the, the wind and the bay and the water and the, and the crowd. Yeah. And uh, to finish off your station wharf with a, a thousand of our closest friends here to greet us, it was uh, really something. How about your day, buddy? Uh, it was incredible uh, just to see, uh, you know, upwards of maybe 100 boats in the flotilla behind us. Uh, I said it to Derek when we were talking on the radio earlier to, to hang out with Mr. Williston and uh, the company we kept today and the crew. They couldn't have been any more uh, hospitable to us. They're just incredible. And then to sail on a ship, uh, like you said, to uh, take an item off the old bucket list, as they say. Well, uh, I hope the uh, members she greets her well. hope they're here in uh, in uh, droves through the, throughout the week, the next yeah. four days, to, to make her feel at home. Of course, uh, ships like this uh, make the money to go from port to port, and they'll, you know, buy in their wares and, uh, you know, charge them so much for admission. The ship, I can tell you, is uh, second to none in terms of its underbelly and its design. Oh, there's a lot incredible. to see, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot to to all over for sure. And as I look down that way, and I keep referencing her, the, the lady that stood out there in the hot sun all day making pottery, just yeah. incredible to watch her and yeah. ply her trade and do her thing. So, yeah. yeah, come out and support them for goodness sakes. Uh, you know, if you support these guys, uh, word of mouth is, as they say, better than any advertising. It's the best advertising you're going to get. So, uh, you know, if we treat them good here and you guys show up, uh, there'll be more like this come back in the near future. That's right. And of course, uh, Talisher Festival always is a big draw, and mm. people come out and drove to the big ships. And of course, it helps our, our downtown business community. Oh. Mm. And uh, of course, it uh, gets the family and friends out, out for the to enjoy a day of uh, wandering around their favorite township here in Mary Machine. Yeah, like I say, Patty, you know, all, all those people watch from ashore and on. Here we are laying in the yeah in the split, that, like we own the, very, the very bow of the ship, waiting and everybody. You know, <laughs> it was like the you know we're awful shy like yeah. that. But, <laughs> like the Queen Elizabeth coming to the tail, we're just going to see. <laughs> it was great to, to uh, share the experience yeah, with you, Patty, yeah, and awesome, uh, we yeah. did a great day. And hopefully, the people in the memory really uh, come out and, uh, and, thanks the, and support the Tall Ship Festival. Yeah, and thanks for the Tall Ship people for inviting us on board, too. It was a treat. Great to know people. It is, indeed. Sign up, buddy. Give her. You're on the river. 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 Give her, you're on the river.